guys, Zami here and you're watching Heavy Metal Pump. Today I've got another product review for you and we're gonna look at a brand that I've yet to look at. For today we're gonna look at the Grim Grease Matte Cream. Now as the name suggests, this is a water based matte cream with a firm hold. And without further ado, we're gonna take a closer look at the jar right now. And here we have the Grim Grease Matte Cream. Comes in a 4 ounce glass jar. You get a label on the lid with the brand, product name and some basic information as well. On the side you get the brand and product name on this navy blue label with silver text. You get ingredients on one side and some directions on the other side as well. Everything about the presentation just looks really nice and I really like how it looks. And if you open it up, you get this creamy paste inside. The scent is their own cologne blend which I'm just gonna put the notes up here. And it pretty much just smells like a clean fresh cologne. It does smell nice but it's also really light and inoffensive so even if you don't like it, it's not gonna bother you throughout the day. Now scooping it out, as the name suggests, ridiculously creamy. You hardly even need any effort to get it out. Breaking it down, really smooth, but the more you break it down, the more tacky it gets. Going into the hair, definitely has an amount of tugging and pulling, but it's not the worst. You definitely want to consider applying this into damp hair, but I'm going to get more into the application methods later on. Nonetheless, you can definitely still apply this into dry hair like what I'm doing right now, but be warned you're gonna get an amount of tugging and pulling. The scent, like I mentioned earlier, is really light. Right now, you do smell it, but after a few hours, you're not really gonna smell it anymore. And as for the shine, I wouldn't say it's completely matte, but it has a natural finish to it, which is really nice. So you came back. Definitely has some thickness to it and resistance as well, but it's not bad. This product isn't really meant for cleaner looks, but for what it is, I think it's holding up pretty well. Gonna start my hair now, talk to you again in a bit. And I think I'm pretty much just gonna call that done. So as you can tell, I'm getting a really good amount of height and volume. My sides are holding down pretty well. The texture you get with this is more on the finer level. Getting that natural finish and the scent is really subtle. So anyways, let's talk more about the matte cream. Grim Grease has been one of those brands that I've always been interested in but I've always overlooked. Probably because they're not as commonly found here in Singapore compared to other brands but they're still in my radar. Seeing how I'm not normally a fan of matte texturizing products, you might be wondering why I picked up the matte cream. Well, simply because it was on sale here and I'm a sucker for a good deal. And even though I don't really like these type of products, I actually like this one. Now application with this stuff is pretty good and bad at the same time. It scoops out ridiculously easy and it breaks down easy as well. But it goes into the hair with quite an amount of tug and pull which I'm not really a huge fan of. Styling with this stuff is really pleasant as well. You get a good amount of control to get height and volume while still maintaining a natural flow. The texture you get with this, like I mentioned earlier, is more on the finer level and while you can definitely finger comb it, I'm naturally not a fan of finger comb looks so I normally just use my afro pick or a wider tooth comb. The hold you get with this, I wouldn't say is a true firm, what I get is a lightweight medium to firm hold which is still really nice. You can also expect a good amount of endurance with this, it's definitely not the best and I do see it deflating throughout the day but you can just as easily just push it back in place with your fingers for a looser look. And as for washing it out, it's not water soluble but one wash with shampoo pretty much gets the job done. Rinsing it does leave behind a light and clean build up but it doesn't really affect next day use that much. Now that's one last thing that I want to get into with the matte cream and that's with the application methods. Now if you checked out their website, they do advertise two methods to use the matte cream. One is to use it in towel dried hair and the second is to use a blow dryer. The first method is pretty straightforward, just apply it in towel dried hair and just let it do its thing. However, I'm not a huge fan of this method because I find that it firms up in my hair and I don't really get that much volume from it. Now the second method is to apply about 2 scoops in towel dried hair, blow dry it and then apply a bit more as a finisher. And I definitely prefer using the matte cream with that method. Because you're using it with a blow dryer, it really helps to secure that volume and just set in a good foundation to work with. You might also ask, what about applying it in completely dry hair like what I did today? Applying it in dry hair definitely does work but as you saw earlier on, it has quite an amount of tugging and pulling. By using a blow dryer in damp hair, you alleviate a lot of that tugging and pulling and just helps with the overall application. 
Nonetheless, if you are to pick up the matte cream, definitely try all those methods mentioned just to see which method works best for you. So anyways, final verdict on the Grim Grease Matte Cream. I give it a 4 out of 5. Even though I'm not a fan of drier products, I actually really like this one. It doesn't feel insanely dry in the hair but it still provides a good amount of height and volume and control. Whether you love or hate matte products, this is definitely worth checking out. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the review. Do leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel right here, or you can check out my last video right here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.